Okay, I do not know why it keeps disconnecting. I don't know either. I, 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 you know what? I know what's happening. You think I'm gonna charge you twenty dollars? I'm not gonna charge you. You could have let the call. I, I, I am not thinking that you charge me. You already, <laughs> we, we already set. What you gonna do? That was that was a joke. I I know. I got you. I got you. I got you. What's 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 going on with you? What's up? Nothing. I'm just chilling right now. I'm up. Right. I'm not out. I'll be up. But I'm just chilling right now. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. How how was your day, if I may ask? It was all right. It was okay. Uh, how was your day? It sounds like your day wasn't all that crap. I was in well, no, 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 no. I I was doing uh I was doing a lot of work on the computer. Then I went to bed. Then I got back up, did some more work on the computer, got my load assignment, and then went to bed. But didn't quite go to bed like I wanted to go to bed. So now I am driving. Kind of upset, but driving though. So. That was my day. I would ask you why you was why were you upset? But then I gotta charge you for that. So let me tell you this. Now I'm just playing. Let me stop joking with you. Now my day was okay. I'm kind of nervous about going to get a root canal. So, but other than that, it's all right. Well, you know, root canals ain't that bad. I mean, considering the fact that they charge you a fucking arm and a leg. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they do. Like, I yeah. mean, I, man, listen, I, back then, I had a couple of issues, you know, they over here talking about I need a crown, I need a filling, I need a root canal, and I need this, I need that, it was like, all right, cool, yeah, wh wh whatever, you got insurance? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, well, well, we'll take that, and we'll put this in right here, and turn this around, and Pick this up and and then your total charge is twenty five hundred dollars. Say what? Twenty five hundred dollars yeah. for what? Well, we're gonna do this and do that. I was like, yo, know, how, how much for an extraction? Oh, an extraction is fifty bucks. Oh, but there you go. There you go. I'm 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 good with that. Yeah, but we getting to no no no. Brother man ain't got no twenty five hundred dollars for no grill work. I mean, I mean, when I probably get older and get some more money, then yeah. But right now, I, I just need this bad tooth out my mouth. That's it. That that's it. That's all. I'm I'm done. So now I don't know how old you are, but I'll just tell you this: some years ago, mm -hmm. I got a tooth for and. You know, everything was okay, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, when I went to the dentist, the man said, the dentist said, if I pull that teeth, mm -hmm. sorry, if I pull that tooth, you see how the top of your um, your teeth are shifting? And I can see it. Yeah, because... I it, actually can feel it. Yeah, because it's no, no teeth, no tooth there to... Right. Right, that's what the doctor told me. So he said, "If I pull that bottom one, it's gonna happen down there. Too. Like right now, I can smell all day. You won't see it. Mm -hmm. You won't even notice I'm missing a tooth. But if he said, when I pull that bottom one and this side shifting, oh, you you gonna have another problem. So you'll be back." So I said, "Okay, I'll go ahead and get the root canal, so I don't have that problem." Okay. Um, I don't want it, and I'm getting older now. So that was a long time. It was a while ago when I got that two pulled at the top, mm -hmm. and now look where it's getting me now. And I still got a million dollar smile. Don't worry about that part. Now, I'm just <laughs> I, but I, now I, got, so I, I don't want that. <laughs> I got well. I, I got two. I got I got two of my tops. Uh, this one, this one. And the doctor still wants me to gets like a, a a fuller tooth like you know like get a get a plat you know like the plastic thing that fits in my mouth i had that before 
because I, I had it on my other side and it just didn't feel good. And I think I lost it. <laughs> I lost okay. the damn thing. So I don't even know what I did with it, but, but yeah, both. Yeah. I, I, I opt for the, I opt for the extraction and just this, do my due diligence, go to the dentist every six months, get my, get my grill clean, get it examined. And, you know, don't eat, don't, don't eat sweets like I used to. So, yeah, that part right there. So when is, when is your, when, what, tomorrow? It's tomorrow morning, yes. Ooh, well, good luck, man. Good luck. Yeah, I know. I'm nervous because I, I don't like pain. And the dentist, he, he kept saying, you won't feel anything. He said, I could tell you, he said, I, I'll prescribe you something, you know, to relax you. I was like, no. Hey, you're going to give you, I he's going like, to numb me. He, he's going to give you some Novocaine. No, he said that, he, no, he wanted to give me a pill so I could take it before I get there so I could be relaxed. And, you know, I won't be so nervous. He said that it would do that. Now, he said he's going to give me the Novocaine. I'll let to numb it. But... Mm -hmm. Like I told you, I'm nervous now. He he could he told me he could give me something for that, but I'm like no, because if I get there and you don't numb it good enough, and I feel something, then I'm gonna start hollering and screaming anyway. So um, you know, uh, and then plus, I gotta take the antibiotic. I, you gave me Tylenol with codeine. Mm -hmm. You gave me 800 milligram ibuprofen. Then you think I want to take another pill for the no. You're going to make your ass feel real good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good. Is, is you okay now? Oh, yeah, I'm good now, Dr. Go ahead. <laughs> so I, have, I also went to the dentist. I went to Walgreens. I bought some oil gel. The oil gel was not working. I'm like, man, oh, that shit God. don't, that I'm shit don't like, work. I know. That shit so when work. I'm in the dentist chair, and because I got so much pain and they want to do an x-ray, he said, okay, we're going to know it. So as soon as they put the stuff on there, I don't feel nothing. And I go, what is that? And they're like, oh, it's just Orgel. And I was like, can you please, please not lie to me? She was like, that's all it is. I said, I brought some Orgel from Walgreens. I was like, well, if that's Orgel, just let me buy some from you I and let that. me take it home with me. She was like, oh, no, we can't do that. Why? It's only Orgel, right? She's right. Like, yeah, but we we can't do. But it's only Orgel. Right. That's all it is. I mean, you if if you can't you, give me, if you telling me that it's Orgel and this shit is doing a hell of a lot better than the Orgel in a motherfucking store, and it's supposed to be the same thing, somebody lying. So, yes. So I'm like, you want to give me Tylenol with codeine and all this, and all you got to, all I got to do is put this this Orgel that you got right here on there and be okay to get me through. But you telling me you can't get me, that's how I know you're not telling the truth for whatever that is. I don't know what they, what it is, but it's definitely not origin. I'll tell you what, it probably, like I said, it probably might be that Novocaine. That's what it is. She just wanted, nah, she she I, just wanted to turn around and be like, oh no, it's just some or No, no, bitch, there ain't no origin. I know, I know what origin is and that shit don't work. Trust me, I know. I, I had a two fake like years ago and shit and I, I call myself putting some or gel on that shit that shit didn't work I had a it, it didn't work so bad that I had an emergency I had to see the dentist the next fucking day so I, I was like uh, that me and my wife we went to the motherfucking dentist I was like yo I gotta go to the dentist period I was like whichever one you find in the motherfucking yellow pages Cause back then, Google wasn't accessible, so we had what was called the yellow pages. So we had to look for the dentist in the motherfucking yellow pages and shit. And then when I got there, dude was like, "Okay, I'll take care of you because it looked like you're in pain right now." And we had to, you know, fill out the paperwork. But he went on here and extract the tooth at the time. So I was like, Shh, "That shit." Eee. That shit was horrible. I then, like I said, well, I checked out one of your podcasts. 
Mm-hmm. And you were speak, speaking with the young lady who her daughter was, her and her daughter was arguing. Uh, you know which on. one I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, me and my sister did a uh, did a reaction video on that. So I I had already seen a video on Facebook. I didn't watch it all because there was a lot of back and forth with the mother and the daughter, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so I kind of cut it off. But I did hear. You saying something about the boyfriend named Randy or something? Yeah, the mom mentioned or the daughter mentioned something about the boyfriend and the boy and the mom's mentioned the boyfriend's name and me and my sister caught on to it and we was you know, we was over here talking about you know, about about the boyfriend and shit. Now hold on, you talking about wait. Now this now the mom's mentioned about her boyfriend and then the girl mentioned I think the mention of her boyfriend or some shit like that. And then my sister was like, Yeah, nobody don't want to be with that. <laughs> that's 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 too much of a headache. Now that's okay. So I don't know. Well now I was talking about men and <laughs> there are a lot of problems between mothers and their children stem from a lot of men. Hmm. Now, I will just say that because I'll just say this. And it's not everybody. It's not everybody. There are a lot of women who cater to their guy. The guy is good that they're not paying attention to their children. That's now true. you got a, a situation. And then, not only that, you you trying to cater to a man who you really don't know how long he's going to be there. True. While you destroy your relationship with your child. You don't know if this man is what, else, what he's doing on the other side of the door or anything. I think it should be a, a balance or whatever. Um, I have this singing that I tell some people that I talk to. Now, as I say, I always tell people, like, I'm not a counselor or nothing. I'm just a person that will talk to you or whatever. You call, I talk to you. But what I always say is, you are the mother, you're someone's wife. At the same time, it's, you know, a lot of women say, well, he's never at home and I have to do this. this." To me, you can split that. Okay, I do, I go to work too. I go to work, come home, and I cook. Maybe while I'm cooking, you can help the kids with the homework. Maybe while I'm cooking and washing or something, it's something that you can be doing to help out. Mm -hmm. But talking to different people, most men are not home. I'm not going to even say most men. I'll just say some. Because I don't want you to think, oh, she think I, I, some men are just never home. Which leaves the lady to have so much pressure on them. They got to go to work. They got to wake up, get the kids ready for school, make sure they have lunch, make sure the kids have their homework done, get their, get their clothes ready, get the kids clothes ready. Also, get the husband clothes ready, too. His clothes got to be washed, ironed, and his meal got to be prepared. But I notice a lot of women like that man just go to work and come home, eat, watch TV, or go somewhere and come back, come home, go to sleep, or, of course, it's a lot they of, won't say manly thing or whatever. So it's a lot of it's go a, ahead. It's it's a lot of uh, it's it's a lot of uh, expectations leaned on to the woman. You know? Yes, it is. But at the same time, I think if a person cares, you wouldn't see, you wouldn't want to see all this weight on your wife's shoulders 
why you just go to work and then you're like, well, maybe after work you'll go have some beers with the fellas or whatever and come home knowing your wife got all this responsibility. 